there are two types of canal holidays. On the first type, you hire a boat and have a lovely lazy time cruising Britain's beautiful inland waterways. And then there's another type, where you work very hard, get extremely grubby, live in basic accommodation and get to wear a lovely and very fetching outfit. But hundreds of people sign up for this every year and I've come to Creeting Lock in Suffolk to find out why. Every summer, the Waterway Recovery Group runs a series of canal camp working holidays at different locations throughout the country. The aim is to help restore the inland waterways so the past is preserved and can be enjoyed by future generations too. It's a huge job. Creeting Lock is part of the Ipswich and Stowmarket Navigation, a project begun in 1790 to make the River Gipping navigable. In its heyday, coal, slate and manufactured goods were carried from Ipswich to Stowmarket and beer and agricultural produce in the opposite direction. But eventually, the railways superseded the boats. By 1934, it was all over and the waterway and its 15 locks began to fall into disrepair. But in the 70s, the volunteers got to work and they've been hard at it ever since. Local volunteers from the Inland Waterways Association put in three days a month at Creeting Lock and every so often they're joined by canal campers from all over the country who boost the man and woman power for a concentrated week of work. The kind of work you do on a canal camp is quite varied. It really just depends on what needs doing. During the course of a week, you might find yourself clearing vegetation, demolishing old brick and stonework, mixing concrete and helping to stabilise the walls of an old lock. Generally, you'll work from 9 in the morning until about 5 in the evening. All seven days you're there. This is a mini excavator and uh, I'm just going to let you have a practice session. Enthusiasm and a willingness to muck in are essential, but you don't need any specialist skills. Experienced volunteers and trained camp leaders will teach you what you need to know. Ready to have a go? Yes. <laughs> yes. Now, whether Matt has what it takes to turn me into an excavator expert remains to be okay, seen. Team, let's go. Jump up and down and move it all around. Mix it up to the sound. Dig a hole in the ground. Take one step left and one step right. And one to the front and one to the side. If it looks like this, then you're doing it right. Bit of timber and a saw. Work at Creeting Lock started in 1997 and although it's a massive task, within a couple of years the volunteers had already made a visible difference. There was progress on the main lock chamber and the bywash channel was well on the way to completion. Now the results are clear to see. Did I make the team? A few more hours. <laughs> a few more hours and we can have his digging some holes for us. Maybe, maybe later in the afternoon. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. I've got more practice needed, I think. <laughs> Anyone who's fit and aged 17 to 70 can do a canal camp. But what's the appeal? To Gordon, um, what's been the highlight of the week for you? It's got to be the highlight, the highlight of doing something completely different to what I do normally. Which um, is what? I'm project manager, but systems not construction, so uh, I'm getting out of the office, getting my hands dirty and actually seeing something tangible at the end of the week that I've actually helped to do, not removing bricks or laying concrete or uh, mm. digging holes. That's, that's got to be a high spot of the week. Mm. And what, what's been the hardest part? Uh, probably shoveling all the concrete that we did a couple of days ago. That was very hard work, but um, it's all laid now, so it looks really good. Mm. So it's very much a team effort that must have been. Very much a team effort. So how did you hear about it? In and school, we'd, and we'd heard about it because we are doing Duke of Edinburgh Awards, and this is the gold one, you have to do a residential for it. And are you enjoying it? Yeah, I am, it's really good. It's hard work as well, but it's really rewarding, it's good fun. The Creeting Lock volunteers are staying at Somersham Village Hall. Accommodation varies from camp to camp, but it's always very simple. Usually you'll be sleeping on the floor of the local village hall, so you'll need to bring a mat and sleeping bag. 
Now, there are basins and toilets inside, but the nearest showers are down the road at the local football club. So I'll see you later. It's so glamorous. On some canal camps, there's a rota for volunteers to take charge of preparing the meals. But on others, there's a cook like Helen to spoil you. Tonight, she's preparing a barbecue. The camp leader organises a range of evening activities. It might be a beach picnic, a boat trip, or simply going to the pub. But the last night is always an opportunity to relax and say goodbye to new friends. Well, it's been a great day. But I have to come clean at this point and let you know that, unlike these guys here, I will not be sleeping on the floor. And I have only managed to get through one day out of the seven. But if anyone out there is into physical challenges and enjoys the team spirit, then this is definitely a break well worth considering.